may now be waiting to enter the Suez as the canal authority has suspended traffic both ways. Tugboats and bulldozers are working hard to dislodge the ship, which apparently got stuck sideways after being blown by high winds. The ongoing shutdown could lead to supply chain disruptions around the world. There's a map. All those dots represent a ship. And look at the log jam in the northern part of Egypt. All those blue dots and at the bottom, ships. Uncertainty is uh, is thick at this point in time, and uh, the uh, the lines uh, just keep getting longer because uh, people are also expecting this to be cleared uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, we will uh, soon start to see rerouting uh, around the Cape of Good Hope uh, for, uh, for for key cargoes uh, that uh, that otherwise uh, would be at uh, shortage uh, in uh, in its uh, well receiving area in uh, in northern and southern Europe. dislodged by the start of next week. A Dutch firm working to free the vessel, Boskalis, says the combination of heavier tugboats arriving this weekend, a high tide and dredging could free the 400-metre-long ever given. Peter Badowski, the chief executive of Boskalis, told a Dutch TV programme late Friday that, quote, we aim to get it done after the weekend, but everything will have to work out exactly right for that. He added that a land crane would be brought in at the weekend to offload containers on the ship if efforts to dislodge it are in vain. But experts have warned that such a process could be complex and lengthy. The Ever Given has been wedged diagonally across the canal since Tuesday, blocking one of the world's busiest waterways. About 15... 15-